Morning world and welcome to Thursday 8th of February and it's horrible. No, that's not all from last night, but I think there was about eight or 10 million there. So we've had enough. Let's put it this way. I thought it battering the house last night. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a river running in from the middle of the field. That's water that comes off the road down the far end of the barn. So I'm assuming there's a drain blocked up further down somewhere, which has diverted it to me. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the least of my worries today. The thing that really kept me awake last night, all right, the storm didn't help, but today, today is TB test part two, the reading. I'll be glad when today's over. Are you winning? No. No. The wind is. The wind is winning. I don't, want, I don't want that. No, I don't want that long. Eh? As long as they can't come undone, the granny not to do. I might have to go and get my uh, big bale knife out of the uh, out of the skid steer. Oh yeah. That's um, that's about as sharp as my wit. Anyway, so it was. Horrible weather out there, blowing a the gale, wet, not nasty, so I said I'd find the guys something to do here. And this is one of those jobs I've been thinking about for a while, so... Well, why not? If we're going to get snow, and it is forecast, um, if I could stop some of it blowing in here... I've got the net, it was up the house doing nothing. I might as well make use of it, haven't I? Hey, the butter knife. The butter knife? That's a darn sight sharper than them. Um, there you go. Than my pen knife. Thing is, there's a steel on this, it's nice and uh, soft, it's sharp as easy. Doesn't keep his edge very long, but I can sharpen it on concrete walls. Yeah, I know, I know, it's great. It's yeah. Over there, was it? Hey? What is it? There you're trapping, isn't it? Anywhere. Any one of these concrete panels will do it, so. Have you got that tight? You've got that tight up differently, haven't you? So I. Bring the eyes down below and tie the eyes together underneath. <sighs> I've both bits of string on this side of the uh, post. So I've both bits of string. So that bit round there, bring it round this side. So it's all tied up with the back. No. No. So, what's it? that bit there? Yeah. <sighs> Bring it round here and through if you can. <clears throat> oh, cool. And tie it up there. That's it. So tie it together. Sort of tied around the back of here. Right, okay. I know that's making it a bit awkward, but yeah, I, I like making things awkward. Yeah, that should be all right. Just try, just try get it tight, yeah, just tight as you can, really. Yeah, my rung up earlier trying to get on to Julie. She wanted to do babysit or something. Well, you know, she rang up and I answered the phone down the stairs, so I had a conversation with her. She goes, I want to talk to mum, not you. I said, oh, all right, I'll put the phone down and uh, blah, 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 blah. She goes, all right then, so put the phone down. She rang up, hello. She goes, I don't <laughs> want you. <laughs> I don't want you. So I had to do it. Yeah. It's the law. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Right. That is one up. So, uh, Mrs. P's gone out. What, what? Nothing. So, did you want to narrate? No, you, you can narrate if you want. I was just asking to see if it would be nice if I a pair of Adidas credits, me, but. <laughs> a pair of Adidas, what? Adidas Predator football boots, but I don't know. Adidas Predator football boots. Michael wants some football boots. So, I'd send him the empty box if I was you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? You said you go on a blind date with them. 
All right, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> right, well, if you follow my Instagram and other bits of bobs, you will know we've had some calves. We now have six calves, um, which is going to complicate things like TB testing. So, but we do have a plan. We built that. I say built it, we, we put that in there. I think the idea is we're going to put all the calves in there. Are you two scrapping? Come on. If you're going to play silly burgers, you can get out. Go on. Out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You go and scrap out there. Calves could stay inside for a minute. So, yeah, so what we'll do, the vet's going to be here in an hour and a half. We'll let the cows out for a bit, a bit to eat a minute. They're probably hungry, not thirsty. Calves are safe enough in there. We'll let her out at the end in a bit as well. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to round up all the calves, put them in there, put some sheep hurdles across so they can't get out. And then they're safe out of the way. We've also <coughs> undone this gate. So now I can move cattle right around the, around the barn. So I can bring that lot in from that end and this lot can go out that way and shut the middle because we've got dehorning to do as well. It's gonna be a stressful day. So, but at least I've got a couple of able-bodied able sets of hands to help me, haven't I? Yeah. yeah, Mikey knows all about castrating ball cows, don't you Mikey? Yeah, right. Hey? Yeah, I do. I heard you say bags you hold his tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want all this tail, didn't you? Yeah. So, right, that lot of that's got to come out. Oh, just been out. Uh, yeah, well, that's all right, that's okay, but in the next <laughs> hour, that'll have to come out of there. Because I've got to open this gate here yeah. to let them through this way. <laughs> so that will go in the feeder right there. Oh, right. oh no, I'll put the, I'll put oh, the muck, muck grab on. I'll pick that up in two. No, you've got to do it by hand, mate. Don't worry. We have the technology here, you know. Don't try this at home, kids. Did you just pull a whole load of slack out of that? Yeah. I saw you yank on that, and now he's got to pull it all back. Look, he's got to pull it all back again now. I have to make sure I've got enough myself. Are you not the slack enough already? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I can go down a bit, Ewan. Yeah, ish. There, there it might, that might even be. Let's get a bit of tension on it. And... <laughs> hey, did he do it again? Hey, did he do it? Swine. <laughs> I can see the cunning plan. I can see the cunning plan. Well, that's, that's high enough. Right, about there. Maybe even six inches lower. Oh! <laughs> what <the> earthquake! <laughs> earthquake, you cheeky bastard. Just hold that tight. Yes, just don't drop that so it swings down into my face. You got it. Is that the right, that's about the right level. Yeah, that's about right, yeah. So have a look at it. I think it's twisted. We'll stand back. Actually, you've got to go down a bit, Ewan. You might just tap down. But again, you might not. To my fingers will be about right. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I know the skids are going to that. You don't look unsafe on there at all, look. No, you look completely... Look, see, you've got my foot on it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you look completely safe. Oh, How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all the eagle ears you heard that, didn't you? You heard yeah. the 10 minute, 10, 10 o'clock beat. 10 o'clock, bait. So, yeah, no, leave it on all the time then. I say, if someone just turns up, less likely to jump out of their skin, so... And for the cost of running a radio, which is like nothing, nothing 
It's uh, yeah. You can come back in, but you can't get very far. You on, mate? Yeah, yeah, but we can't use that little calf crushers thing. Why? They're too big. Yeah, so. Tail up. Oh, we're going to oh. give him a lot of sleepy juice. Yeah. No, when we. Um, we tranquilize them for their own, for their own safety, as much as ours. So. Yeah. All right. All right. They're off for tea break. I'm not having one. I'll have mine later. Right. Well, we're all set up. We're about as ready as we can be. I should have time for a quick brew before the vet gets here. So you can all talk to your babies in there. You can't get to them, but you can talk to them. Just waiting for the vets to turn up, which should be about any time now. So I stopped and had my tea break. Guys out there is at 10, I have mine at 11. So, uh, yeah, let's go see how they're getting on. They're still fiddle faffing around with that net at the end. We got, got this one done. That's okay. But apparently there was issues with the other side. Too small. Have you got it sussed yet? We had to, uh, it was it's not like that, so. It was not, well, not like that. It went right. It went right? No. You put it up wrong? No. He put it up wrong? No. <laughs> cows put it up wrong. Okay. Cows put it up wrong. Yeah, cows told us. The cows told you. Yeah, All right, okay. Yeah. Do you listen to cows very often? Yeah. Only when they feed them. Only one in particular, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I never said Emma. Yeah, you, good. look, oh, did I put the cap on that? No, you put the cap on that. I can't believe it. It's a skid steer in the waiter. You are a Eh? It was alright. It's alright. Okay. Yeah. Emma, he just called you a cow. And there's witnesses. You and her, you and her heard him say it. And, and all of them, they all heard it. Yeah, go, on. Hey? <laughs> go on, put your brave pants on. You know you want to. <laughs> so is this a smaller, um, I think it smaller is. one, is it? Yeah, I think that's... Um, we didn't want to take, it's like, you had like that much gap on each side. Right, okay. Uh, oh. I can hear the cogs whirring from here, Ewan. So that looks. So is he square? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Maybe. Because that looks shorter. Yeah, that's what I mean. The chain, like, at first it was small, so and this, this side is definitely going to be smaller. Than that. Looks, yeah. Yeah, that looks. Um... Basically, it was too, it was too short. There was gaps either side. Yeah. yeah. So not like that way. It's closed off. So what we should have had really is we should have put that net over there at this end. We're not taking them down again, don't worry. No. We'll just do the best we can with what we got. So, I mean, it's... Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you all right in there, Ewan? Yeah. You look a big fish in a net in there, is it? like being a fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully the vets will be here soon. Yeah. Seems to have calmed down here now, not a bit less mooing. Save well done, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I reckon up another inch or two, mate. Yeah, up my way, yeah? Yeah, up your end, up your end a little bit. Just go on, go on, Mikey. Go on, it went. And again. I do. Oh, you're yeah. that's absolutely full spot on. Yeah. Eh? Hey? Yeah. Right then. Which is the long one? She's got. Yeah, I think so.
Right, it's got it looped on there. Right. You know, don't pull too hard because you pull me off a ladder. <laughs> yeah, don't go pulling me off. It's on camera, it's evidence. <laughs> oh, you would pull me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was something a bit shitty on here. Right, so. That should come out over there. Do you want to, do you want to give him a tug over that way? Yeah. Before you take the ladder down? Yeah. Uh, that's going to fit absolutely beautiful, that is. This is bullshit. Yeah, yeah I see you two. You like it. What are you like? Yeah. Oh, right, OK. As long as we've established whose fault it is. And it's definitely not yours. <laughs> okay, I'll take the blame for this one. So, so I've been down here for how many minutes? I did actually look at the time when I came down here, and I've sussed it oh, in. I was thinking about it for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I did say you know, it's better to spend five minutes thinking about it before you do it. Yeah. But that is only five minutes, not you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Keeps life interesting. To what? Well, because I thought it was the same size. And if that was the case, then I would have been right. I thought that, I, th I thought both nets were the same. <laughs> it was my turn to be right. <laughs> Too bad, I couldn't go up. Is that going to hit the top of the roof of the skid stair? It didn't do. Oh, it's only flappy, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, uh, we'll probably either put the top one up a little bit or uh, bring the bottom one down a little bit. Yeah. E e either or, it doesn't matter. He warned I right, he's got his legs out. Hey? And you were you, pay extra for this, you weren't a postman in a, in a previous life, were you? No, just an idiot. They seem to have a thing about getting their knees out, didn't they? <laughs> Morning. Morning. How are we doing? Yeah, not not too bad. Before you ask, no, we haven't looked. Bottom frolics. Yeah. Well, I separated the calves. They're all in there. Um, so I thought we'd do the cows next door first, because yep. they're done and dusted out of the way. Then the cows. Yep. And then we can bring that lot through. Read them, jab them as they go, and then run them back round. Jab them, I, I think give them plenty. Yeah, sleepy, sleepy. Yep. Abby's given me loads. Oh, loads of sleepy, sleepy loads juice? Of sleepy, sleepy, yeah. oh, I think she it's... Oh, aren't she? I've got the sleepy, sleepy juice. She's giving you some anaesthetic. Oh. Ah, we're, ah, we're talking about... Yeah, we're going to cheat. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy juice. When you fight with Dexter's, mm. always a cheat. Well, it's know. safer for them and safer for us. She also said I need to babysit you and monitor how much. Nothing wrong with a bit of chemical warfare, is it? Oh, what well, Abby did. <laughs> yeah. What's she like? Uh, she doesn't trust us. Yeah, <laughs> as if. So, right. Two fine, upstanding gentlemen. Like <laughs> well, it's upstanding most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, literally. We got. They've only been in here ten minutes. We got. Yeah. That's a message, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's the message. I think what she's got is mine. Go yeah. Away. Yeah. You're yeah. Right you, I'm glad there's I'm glad there's plenty of us. Yeah. So. Uh, so be the rodeo clown or? Uh, yeah. Be the calf grabber. No, I'll be the rodeo. Well, I think what we'll try and do is we'll try and push all the cows out down there. Yeah. And hopefully she'll go with them. Yeah. Where are the other calves? In there. Oh, right. They're all shut in there. So. In through as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bottom. Yeah. What is it on the top? Three men, three men, anyway. 12. 29 and 12. Yeah. I'm sorry, bud. Uh, that's not even a little bit, is it? It's 13, 16, he's going. Yeah. Right, we're going to get some time to get out the car. Okay. 
Bunker. I'm sorry, bud. It is what it is, isn't it? It is. So, and it had to be you, didn't it? Welcome to the Southwest. Mm. I'm sorry, big man. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Well, that's that's gonna mess up the other plan as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Could I interest you in a tea bus visit? A who? A tea bus visit. I thought you said a tea bag visit from the nose, but I don't really swing but that I way. <laughs> I don't think it'll make either yeah. of us feel better. What's a tea bus visit? A TB advisory visit funded by the government. All right, okay. Um, so we'll have a look around, see if we can work out where the source of the infection is, see if there's any risks from or to wildlife. Yeah. Do a lap of the farm. Okay. Sort of go through everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Especially if there's HM government's going to pay for it. They are. Yeah. I haven't found the catch yet, so... Right, OK. Well, yes, um, we'll arrange that then. Yeah, I'll get that sorted. <sighs> and then we're just going to have to see what's in there, don't we? Well, if number if we've got one straight away... The <laughs> first one through the crush isn't a good start, is it? Not really, no. Right. Where do you want to put these? Eh? Where do you want to put these? Well, they're going to have to just come back in here for a minute, so... We'll split them out after. And, of course, last week, they could touch them next door. Up until last week... There was no nose to nose touch or nothing. What are you doing in 60 days, bud? 60 days, well, probably 62 days, I expect. Bad. I Maybe think we'll probably by see. The time they go. Yeah, yeah. Could I interest you in a day? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring the cream as long as, it, <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't involve teabagging, that's all right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he offered me a tea bath, so I miss earning. <laughs> I thought he was being friendly. Yeah, <laughs> or, there's friendly or, or, in there. Yeah, that, that, that goes beyond, doesn't it? Oh, bugger. Right. Oh. Bum. Well, I suppose the only other upside is he's got two lovely done sons in there. As long as mums don't, because that's my biggest worry, is mums. Well, the worry then is if you've got mums and they're transmitting it through the milk to the calves. Yeah. Well, what happens if we got we got mums that are due to drop? So if they go down, and, and what they what do they do with cows that are about to drop? They still take them. So it depends on how close to dropping they are. Right. If we can, if they're right tight up to calving, what we can do is ask for permission to keep them on farm until they've calved. Yeah. But we'll have to put them in. Are you happy? Do you want me to do? It? I just do. I'll do. It. Um, we'll have to put them in an put them in an isolation unit and. Okay. Um, wildlife proof it everything else, but they will let them drop. Yeah. The problem will be once they drop, we'll have to snatch carve them and rear them on a bottle or oh. on a bucket. Yeah. Oh. It's just what you wanted to hear, wasn't it? Hey. It's just what you wanted to hear, wasn't it? No. Um, no. But it just depends on what they're happy for us today. Sorry, bud, you get a nice, pretty green eerie. Yeah. And a shortcut to the abattoir. Yep. Bugger. Right, I think I'm going to turn the camera off. I don't think I want to film anything else. I think I've had enough. Is it switched off? So, not a great day. Um, Patrick was the very first animal to go through the race. And he failed the test pretty convincingly. And after that, we had another seven, mainly on the high side of inconclusive, so um, where it's uh, probably got TB, not definitely, but because there were so many of them, um, like the vet said, they would probably be um, upgraded because there was just too many. So yeah, Patrick, I'm afraid, is gonna leave us. Um, he was supposed to be going on holiday. He was going to go somewhere else and play with some more ladies elsewhere, which would have made his day. He'd have been really happy about that. But uh, no. So we've got another four ladies in there. In fact, you can see a green ear tag just there. Um, some really nice animals. So it never takes the, scru the scruffy, scrappy stuff. It always takes the best. Yeah, so this is not going to be one of my happy videos, I'm afraid. This is, uh, this is the beginning of 120 days of wondering. So it's going to cause trouble. Because they've all got to stay here 
and strictly speaking, I don't have enough grass and ground for all of them out there. So we're going to have to supplementary feed. No choice. Yeah. Can't take anything to tether farm. Uh, I might be able to, if, we've, if we pass our second test, the 60 day test and the 120 test, if we pass that, then we might still be able to wean our youngsters to go over to the farm. Uh, we can still send beef off for beef packs and uh, pies. That doesn't matter um, because the carcasses are inspected at the abattoirs. So, um, so anybody buying beef or, or pies, you haven't got to worry about it. Yes, we'll still be doing that, but um, anything, anything that was even a sniff of it might be infected. Um, we're erring on the side of caution um, there were some animals, uh, you'll, people who in the farm, you'll know there's like the green band of pass, and then there's the white band of a bit suspicious, the blue band of a bit more than a bit suspicious, and then the red band, which is total fail. A lot of ours were right on the boundary between the white and blue. And we've just said, do you know what? Um, just, just got to go, just got to do it. So uh, fortunately, none of our uh, mature cows have gone down with it, but some of our heifers that are due to calve in about three months have. So, yeah. Not a great day. Anyway, still got work to do. Now we've got to get in here and give them all a fresh bed for tonight. So, job still continues. Whether you want it or not, you've got, still got to do it. So. We didn't do any bedding this morning because we knew we were running all these, basically all these animals have been right round the circle all way round. So, which is another thing we have to worry about because a couple of these animals in here have gone down as inconclusive and of course they have all been able to touch noses with these guys that are in here. Yeah. Yeah. So, and until, until TB test last week, these folks hadn't been able to touch noses with anything next door. The only potential contact they had was anything that fell off the skid steer or the bucket when I was mucking out sheds. Other than that, they were separated. But on part one TB, they could touch noses by that little gate up there. So although the chances of cross infection are pretty low, it's not impossible. So, yeah, right, okay. Um, it's late, it's quarter past four. I haven't got much time now. I haven't got time to video anything else today. So I'm afraid that's gonna be the end of the video today. Um, I will try and be cheerful tomorrow, but I wouldn't hold your breath.